No, <laughs> that's not how it works. No, okay. Hey there, Darian Wynn here with another episode of The Science First Show by Asian Scientists. Could I interest you in a coronavirus vaccine? What? AstraZeneca and Oxford University are working on an utterly brilliant one right here. <sighs> okay, how about this? Moderna's mRNA-based vaccine, which can be kept at room temperature for up to 12 hours. A price as low as 50... A price as low as $15. Nope. Whoa. Not a fan? Well, here is Gamalea Sputnik 5. Sputnik 5 uses the common cold virus to get a small part of SARS-CoV-2 into your cells, which then triggers your immune system. It's available right now and costs just $10. Okay, wait, wait. I got it, I got it. Just, just hang in there with me, okay? Um, uh, uh China's Sinovac is taking a whole different approach to the situation with a vaccine based on the inactivated whole virus. <sighs> okay. I'm tired of selling. I'm tired of selling these vaccines. Alrighty, so truth be told, there are many to choose from, but there is no one single best vaccine. After all, the coronavirus is a global problem and it's best met with multiple solutions. What's really important right now is that these vaccines get thoroughly tested and declared safe to use. So please, please, please get vaccinated once the option becomes available to you. Not everyone is too keen about this coronavirus vaccine though. On her website, this lady believes that I can't even say it. This lady believes that they'll be turning us into genetically modified organisms. But never before have I seen um, the technology being used on this proposed COVID-19 vaccine. This vaccine will be using a modified RNA or modified DNA. Could potentially alter our DNA, our genome. No, 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 no. Oh no. What is he doing? First of all, putting any kind of genetic material into your body doesn't necessarily change your genome. Let's say I got a piece of paper, I wrote my, my name down, and I were to put this piece of paper with my name on it, into a book, Harry Potter. If I do, da doop, it doesn't mean that I wrote the book Harry Potter. It doesn't work like that. She's really testing me today. So what she failed to mention is that the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines teach our cells how to make a protein, which triggers an immune response. Now that immune response which produces antibodies, is what protects us if the real virus were to enter our bodies. Not that hard. Got it? That's crazy. No! Also, because most people, the vast majority of people, get a mild illness to build up some degree of herd immunity as well so that more people are immune to this disease. It is possible to produce high quality immune protection, but with natural infection, there is a risk of developing serious and life-threatening illnesses, especially for our vulnerable communities. Is that a risk you're willing to take? And then you've got guys who think Bill Gates is up to no good. And if you're global enough to believe that, then maybe, just, just maybe, you shouldn't be using a computer or, or a phone. Literally, I literally cannot stand y'all. So I'm sitting down. <laughs> so we're lucky to have a whole host of tools help us fight back against COVID-19 on so many different fronts. Just imagine how many more lives might have been saved if these were available during the Black Death. Here's to looking forward to a brighter year ahead with not just one, but many potential vaccines on the horizon. I'm Darren Nguyen, and this is a Science First Show. <laughs>